Hello there. We are going to do an unboxing and review of the Super Console X King today, so stay tuned. The console comes with two wireless controllers with 2.4 GHz dongles. Here you see the power, Ethernet, and HDMI ports. There is no power button here but you can turn it off from the system menu. There is a single USB port for additional storage. And here you can see two USB ports for controllers with a micro SD card slot. Let's see the specs of this system. This console features the most powerful Amalogic processor, a Hexacore S922X chip. Comes with Android TV 9.0 and Emu Alec 4.5. 2.4G plus 5G Wi-Fi 6 plus LAN 1000 megabits per second. 4 gigabytes LPDDR4 RAM plus 64 gigabytes eMMC ROM. Support multiplayer games, up to 5 people can play online at the same time. The Super Console X King contains a variety of games for platforms ranging from the Atari 2600 to the Sega Dreamcast and PSP. It also includes a large number of classic microcomputer games from the 80s and 90s, such as Commodore 64, Amiga, and PCFX. Additionally, there are countless classic arcade games. We'll start with the 3DO system. There is some screen tearing in Wolfenstein 3D, but overall the game is good and playable. and 16-bit games work well, but you need to turn off the smooth filter to make the games look sharper and better.
MSX 8-bit computer games works nicely. Capcom Arcade works very well. Classic arcades also work very well. Mortal Kombat 2 on MAME works fine here. This game was very slow on other cheap boxes. The Atari 8-bit computer games work properly here. This system on other TV boxes usually requires more configuration to work. Atomus Wave Arcade works great here. <laughs> PlayStation 1 games work very well and here is Bloody Roar 2 works great here. Sega Saturn which is known for its hard to emulate system works on this console but sadly it's not good even with 2D games there is a lot of flickering as you see here. I think that the emulation software is the issue. It's tail time! Neo Geo games work perfectly without any issues. Super Mario 64 works great with the default settings. You should get a better controller, since the one that comes with this console doesn't work well. Cruise and USA runs okay but there are some graphical glitches. Uh, 
Killer Instinct Gold works with some sluggishness. Not good. And here are some Sega Dreamcast games. Resident Evil Code Veronica works fine. games like Marvel vs. Capcom 2 works perfectly. <laughs> Dead or Alive 2, which is typically difficult to work on Raspberry Pi 4 and cheap boxes, works well here. Fatal Fury 2 Rebound is one of the open bore games. Open bore are fan-made beat-em-up games that use assets from other games like Streets of Rage, the King of Fighters series, and the Street Fighter series. Last but not least, the PSP system, and we'll begin with Ape Escape. This game runs extremely well. Two D games like Metal Slug Double X run perfectly. PSP Minis also works great. Outrun 2006 was not included in the game list, but I easily added it from my PC to the SD card. The game works very well at 60 FPS. There is a slight audio bug in the beginning, but everything runs smoothly. Get ready. Race for the top position! God of War is also not included in the SD card. I tried making it 1x resolution with frame skip, but it ran slower than 30 FPS most of the time.
Let's now discuss my opinions of this system, both positive and negative. Pros. It's completely plug and play and much easier to use than other systems like the Raspberry Pi 4. It's the most powerful TV box that comes with the EMU Elect system. Cons. Pricey. It costs over twice as much as preview systems. Some Nintendo 64 and PSP games still don't run smoothly. And Sega Saturn games are unplayable. If you want the best experience with these games, you should get an emulation PC. The Super Console X is the best plug-and-play console for more than one system that you can buy. It is less powerful than the Nvidia Shield, which runs Nintendo 64 and Saturn games better, but the Shield is not plug-and-play and you must configure everything manually and that is not going to be simple, especially if you want to create a nice front-end with multiple systems similar to the Emulation Station or Botocera. You can also buy a mini PC for less than $200, and it will run Sega Saturn and Nintendo 64 games better than this console. Additionally, it will play GameCube and some PlayStation 2 games. However, keep in mind that you will need to put in more effort and time to install emulators or install Botocera and add games for each system. That's all I've got for today. I hope you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this video useful. If you have any questions or want to see more games on this system, please leave them in the comments section. Thank you for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.